Despite the severity of his injuries, 31-year-old Nick Edwards made it to shore, but bled to death as fellow surfers tried in vain to save him. His broken board evidence of the ferocity of the shark attack. I did hear some whistling to start with. Um, didn't really think too much of it, but I saw somebody on the rocks at South Point, and I thought they might have been stuck in the rocks, and I seen somebody running along the, along the hill to go and help them out. So, and, and then all of a sudden he stopped um, and just started waving his arms, yelling, shark, shark. It's thought the shark may have followed a group of seals close to land and mistook Mr. Edwards for its prey. When I got down to the point over here, uh, my friend Craig was already um, uh, sitting with uh, the man uh, with a tourniquet uh, around his leg and uh, had pulled him out of the water uh, and we started CPR. Uh, then more people came down. We uh, continued CPR until the ambulance crew arrived and then we uh, carried him up the beach to, uh, to the ambulance, by which time we managed to get a lot of colour back in him and um, uh, we were very hopeful. But his leg was badly bitten and he'd lost too much blood. Mr Edwards was married with two young children. Shark encounters are not uncommon, but fatalities are rare. A surfer was killed by two sharks in 2004, less than a mile away from here. Popular beaches are patrolled in summer, but this is a remote stretch of coast accessible only by four-wheel drive vehicles. The beach has been closed while the authorities check if the shark is still in the area. Ian Woods, Sky News, Sydney.